Hello YouTube, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are a lot of fine and good in your life. If you are new here, please like our channel and subscribe as well. Before continuing today, we are going to discuss about what is SEO content. How to write content that ranks. In the past 12 months, we have published 79 pieces of SEO content. Of the Earth blog. 96% of them rank in Google and get organic traffic month after month. What is SEO content? SEO content is quite simply content that is designed to rank in search engines like Google. It is also important to note that any kind of content can be SEO content, produce pages, landing pages, interactive tools and even video. But when most people talk about SEO content, they are talking about blog post. Why is SEO content important? No matter what your business does, you can only get so much organic traffic to your money pages. For example, we have 5 landing pages, one for each of our main SEO tools. In total, these pages get around 25,000 monthly visits from organic search and we rank in the top 5 for all. Of our main keywords. If we did not do this, we would be leaving a lot of money on the table because potential customers are not always searching for our products directly. For example, we have a competitive research tool called Site Explorer. One of the things it does is show who is liking to any website or web page but potential customer might not know we offer this product and instead search for something like who, link, who links to my website now thus i would like to explain how to write seo content not all blog posts are SEO content and pouring your heart and soul into your content does not guarantee ranking and traffic. So if you want your post to get organic traffic, you need to write it around a proven SEO framework. What is that framework? It looks something like this. Find a proven topic, analyze such intent writer. Outline, write, edit your draft, make your content visually appealing, add compelling titles and description, upload your post. Now, in this video, we go through each of these steps in more detail. Number one, find a proven topic. Before you even think about putting pen to paper, you need to find a relevant topic traffic potential. If you sell baking supplies online, then this might be recipe for baked goods, cookware reviews or other things related to baking. Because Butter cake recipe has almost five times more searches than chocolate chip cookies cake recipe. You would expect this topic to have the most traffic potential. This happens because the top ranking page ranks for and get traffic from more queries. So before you settle on a topic, always look at the estimated traffic, traffic to the top ranking page to get a better sense of true traffic potential. The second step, analyze such intent. Such intent engines like Google have invested billions of dollars into understanding the true intent behind such it. This is how they are able to return relevant results, even for vague queries.
on 10 type or the top ranking pages, blog posts, product pages, category pages, landing pages or something else. If they are not mostly blog posts, they go back to step 1 and choose a different topic. Content format. What type of post rank? Are they how to use list type post, opinion pieces, news articles, something else? Content anchors. Look at the page title to understand more about the type of person searching for this. For example, many of the pages ranking for French bread recipe, which how easy the recipe is. The third step is write a data driven outline. The average top ranking page ranks for nearly 1000 other relevant keywords in the top 10. Place the URL of the top ranking page into Site Explorer, then go to the organic keyword report. Read out the irrelevant keyword filter for keyword where the page ranks in position 10 and higher. Number 4 is write a draft. It is finally time to put pen to paper and draft your post because this does not have much to do with SEO. We won't dwell on this process too much. Here are a couple of tips for doing this as quickly as possible. Write as you speak. Most of the best blog posts are written in an informal conversation tone. So there is no need to agonize over every word. Just write as you speak. Use the Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro technique is simple. You set a 25 minute timer and a goal you want to achieve in that time. Most people type at around 40 words per minute. So that is 1000 words in 25 minutes. Take a short break after 25 minutes and then repeat. Continue this process until you have complete draft. Edit your draft. Putting readers into the flow of your content is important if you want them to stick around, which you do. Correct spellings and grammatical error. Most word processor writing apps have spell check checker built-in tool, so you do not have to be a genius to get things right. Keep it simple. If you are using complex sentence and one that is going to confuse it and they do they don't want hesitate to hit the back button. Solve this by running your draft through a simple tool that makes a sentence so much simple. Get feedback. Sure, it is soul crushing to hear that your content is not quite up to scratch. But the truth is that the opinion of others can help improve th things exponentially. Sixth one is make your content visually appealing. Nobody likes reading a well of text. If you have written more than a few sentences, then you should work to break up the copy. Many studies show that visual help people understand and comprehend content. So including useful images and videos can improve user satisfaction, which no is important to Google. Writing a compelling meta title and description. Search engines see more than just the text on the page. They look at metadata in the page code to learn more about your content. This is another page. It's useful to match scratch intent. Whatever scratches where you pitch it in your little tag. Upload your post. Nothing to do with SEO, but there is a tip to save you some serious time if you use WordPress. Is content enough to rank? Google tells us that the most important ranking factors are content and links. 
make it the go to the source on a topic put this off and people are more likely to link to your guide and other include unique data every unique data means people have to cite you as the source when quoting that data make it as accessible as possible people are not going to link to something they find confusing or difficult to read now my final thoughts about seo content and writing is following a proven seo framework to write content makes sense and it certainly improve your chances of ranking but it is important to remember that things do not always work out even if you do everything right thank you for watching my video bye